Hello everyone, Dr. Polaris here. Homotherium was a genus of saber-toothed cat native to Africa, Eurasia and the Americas, famous for its blade-like upper canines and adaptations for a pursuit hunting lifestyle. The animal first makes an appearance in the fossil record approximately 4 million years ago during the early Pliocene and survived until the late Pleistocene circa 12,000 years ago. The earliest known fossil remains of this cat have been uncovered in both Eurasia and Africa, making its ultimate place of origin unclear. Up to four species have been described and named, and these include H. latidens, H. serum, H. isserus, and H. venezuelensis. In terms of size, the genus measured 1.1 meters or 3 feet 7 inches tall at the shoulder and weighed between 150 and 230 kilograms or 330 to 510 pounds, a range similar to that observed in modern African lions. Homotherium possessed a distinctive build that was rather different from living felids, with elongated forelimbs, a moderately sloping back and a bear-like pelvic girdle features which gave the animal an almost hyena-like posture when standing. As typical for Machairodontines, the upper canines were more elongated and flatter than those of their living cousins, although the sabres of Homotherium were noticeably shorter than those of the more famous Smilodon. These were serrated, however, and would have been very effective at slicing through flesh. The incisors were large and pointed forward, and were adapted for gripping and holding struggling prey while the carnassials were peaked and formed a cutting surface. In a 2018 paper by Figuerido et al, it was found that Homotherium's bite was actually more similar to modern conical-toothed cats like lions and tigers, being adapted for clamping down on the prey's throat while the canines sliced through the jugular. In addition, the skull of this genus was elongated, with large nasal openings superficially similar to those of a cheetah while the visual cortex of the brain was expanded, suggesting a predator that both relied on a strong sense of vision and active pursuit hunting when seeking prey. The elongated limbs and high stance of Homotherium would have enabled the animal to move in an energy-efficient manner while running, which, when coupled with its only semi-retractable claws, indicate adaptations for hunting in open savanna and steppe ecosystems. To complement this environmental preference, the coat of this animal would have likely been plainly coloured, lacking spots or stripes. Fossils of this genus are comparatively rare when compared to Smilodon, with the living animal stalking the Pleistocene mammoth steppe. A further locomotory adaptation seems to be the partially plantigrade feet, which means that Homotherium would have walked with more of the flat of its foot rather than balancing on its toes. This could be an adaptation to the snowy conditions of the north where Homotherium seems to have been most common, as this would reduce pressure from the weight of the body, which means that the paws would not have sunk down so much into soft snow. This would also allow extra traction on snowy ground, as well as extra support for dealing with struggling prey. Contemporary herbivores included mammoths, woolly rhinos, horses, musk ox, and reindeer, while Homotherium would have had to compete with many additional predators, including cave lions, hyenas, Smilodon, and the short-faced bear Arctodus. Both genomic and fossil evidence have given paleontologists insight into the life of this long-legged cat. Genes revealing high genetic diversity indicate that the animal was far more common than previously assumed due to the preservation bias of the fossil record. The study also revealed that this genus of Machairodont was most likely diurnal and would have mainly hunted in daylight. Mitochondrial DNA analysis has also revealed that Homotherium was highly divergent from living felids, with its lineage splitting off from those of modern cats approximately 22 million years ago. It was also only distantly related to Smilodon, having shared a common ancestor with it roughly 18 million years ago. Gene functions associated with group behaviour were also noted, suggesting that the genus may have hunted in prides like modern lions. In addition, fossil evidence appears to indicate that Homotherium often targeted proboscideans. African species lived alongside Dinotherium and preyed on the calves of this massive beast, likely working as a group to bring down their prey. Lions today engage in similar behaviour when targeting bush elephant calves between 1 and 4 years of age. The serrated sabre teeth of Homotherium would have proved an effective tool for tearing and slicing through the tough flesh of megafaunal prey, particularly in comparison to living conical-toothed cats. 
The Friesenhahn cave site in Texas has preserved the remains of hundreds of mammoth calves alongside homotherium individuals of all ages and sizes, suggesting that the cats dragged their prey to this secluded spot in order to avoid the attention of other predators such as American lions, dire wolves and Arctodus. Most of the mammoth remains consist of isolated bones, indicating that the homotherium pride dismembered their prey before eating carrying smaller pieces back to the cave. Additionally, fractured canines are very rarely reported in this genus, despite being a common form of injury in other saber-toothed cats. This perhaps relates to the ability of the pride to fully restrain prey before one individual could deliver a successful killing blow to the throat. These traits clearly enabled Homotherium to become a highly successful predator, inhabiting an enormous range stretching across Africa, Eurasia and the Americas. In South America, the genus seems to have been restricted to the northern portion of the continent, with remains only having been recovered from Venezuela. As the cat clearly demonstrated a preference for open habitats, perhaps the more heavily forested regions of the Amazon, despite being smaller and more fragmented than today, were enough to put a stop to its southward expansion. In Africa, where the genus possibly originated, Homotherium became extinct approximately 1.5 million years ago. During the late Pleistocene, Homotherium remained native to a vast swath of Eurasian mammoth steppe, stretching from Britain in the west to Beringia in the east. In North America, it was an inhabitant of the western half of the continent, extending down into Central America. It was initially believed that the genus died out in Eurasia 300,000 years ago, but more recent specimens have since been recovered from the North Sea and dated to approximately 28,000 years ago. During the Pleistocene, this region was a low-lying expanse of open, marshy tundra, although further to the east the steppes were beginning to break up as taiga forest began to encroach on the open plains. Homotherium, as a predator adapted to hunting large game in open environments, would have been susceptible to these climatic changes. The North Sea fossils are the youngest known remains of the genus in Eurasia, while in North America it survived until roughly 12,000 years ago, during the famous megafaunal extinction event at the Pleistocene-Holocene transition. Along with its American contemporary Smilodon, Homotherium was among the last of the Machaerodontines and was an incredibly successful animal, thriving for 4 million years. Perfectly adapted to the mammoth steppe ecosystems of Eurasia and North America, it is likely that the gradual disappearance of this habitat to be replaced by more modern taiga forests led to the demise of Homotherium. Sadly, it and all other saber-toothed cats are now extinct, with the feline and pantherine cats occupying some of their vacated niches. Thanks for watching everyone. In the next episode I'll be covering the basal crocodilomorphs, so I'll see you again soon. Cheerio.